Hi, I'm Mark Skelly. And I'm Zenon Teixeira. I'm with Opus Americas. And I'm from across the pond from Opus London. And we've got the fortunate job today to interview Mr. Hefner here at the Playboy Mansion in Los Angeles, California. And we're here to celebrate a very special event, and that's the launch and the announcement of the Playboy, the official Playboy Opus, where we're going to be celebrating 60 years of Playboy, Mark. And we're out to create the single most definitive publication the world's ever seen. But obviously we're here to uh, celebrate the Opus, the Playboy Opus, mm -hmm. and we are excited about it at Opus because we're going to celebrate 60 years of one of the most important publications we think the world has, has seen, especially in, in, the last, in the last few decades. It's changed so many people's lives, how it's portrayed so many different cultures and welcomed people. We just wanted to ask, we're going to be getting access to archive material from the photographic archives in, in LA, from your scrapbooks, never before seen content. Can I ask how important it is and how excited you are to have all this in one definitive publication? Well, I think uh, it is a way of celebrating the fact that it is uh, you know, more than half a century plus, uh, and uh, the Opus uh, collection does that. It does. Hopefully we will, we will try and do it a lot of justice and try and show some of the imagery on a large format that it will hopefully come to life in a way it hasn't done before. So we're very excited about trying to do that. I know Mark has a question for you. Mark? I, I know you would have been successful at whatever you chose, but why the initial push to start this publication in 1953? Well, I was in a typical, uh, less than satisfactory, and less than happy marriage. Uh, had, had served in uh, the Army during World War II, had uh, completed college, and uh, felt my life was going nowhere. Uh, but I was a dreamer, and uh, in, in the weeks immediately before thinking about starting Playboy, I had returned to my high school for a, an alumni uh, gathering, and uh, that sparked in me the dreams that I'd been put away. And in the, quite literally, in the weeks and months that followed, in the early part of 1953, I started thinking about starting a sophisticated men's magazine with no notion, of course, of, of that it would success, uh, succeed or what it would lead to. I was so uncertain, as a matter of fact, that I had just enough money borrowed uh, from friends, relatives, etc., uh, to put out just that first issue. So the first issue had no date on it because I wasn't sure there would be a second issue. But was that in 1953? That was 1953 and it, and it was undated. It would have been, if it had a date on it, it would have been December of 1953. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> You're double teaming we me are, here. We are, we're double teaming <laughs> We wanted to get the London America. and the LA uh, <laughs> accent across today. By 1959, Playboy was selling over a million copies an issue. Fantastic. Yet you still decided to make one massive change in your life. As you said, you've come out from behind the desk mm -hmm. and you lived the lifestyle of the Playboy. And the mm -hmm. Why did you do that? Well, I did not really recognize uh, it before the fact what a dramatic impact it was going to have on my life. Um, but I had uh, separated from my, uh, from my wife uh, some years before that, and uh, the marriage, uh, the divorce came through, and she remarried in 1959. Uh, and that gave me permission to, uh, to some extent, to, you know, live the life. Uh, but I didn't anticipate, in other words, a series of events occurred in the space of a, a half a year that changed everything for me. Uh, 
for the fifth anniversary of the, of the magazine, uh, we held a jazz festival in Chicago that turned out to be the most definitive jazz festival of all time. Uh, and that was in August and summer of, of 1959. Uh, in, the, in the months immediately after that, I started hosting a syndicated television show called Playboy's Penthouse, bought the first uh, Chicago mansion, the first Playboy mansion in Chicago, uh, and as you say, came out from behind the desk and started living the life. Yeah. Uh, and in February of 1960, opened the first Playboy Club. Uh, as a result of the combination of those three events, uh, my life changed forever. Absolutely. Based on that, I know you have a great sense of humor. Mm -hmm. If you could pick four people to come to the match and for an evening at any time in history, who would those four people be? Well, that's something I've never been asked and I have <laughs> no idea. Four I've never thought particularly in terms of um, uh, uh, but I was very much influenced by the movies and grew up uh, with my uh, idols uh, coming out of uh, uh, the, the golden age of Hollywood. So it would probably be a little a gathering of, of Hollywood stars, probably Marilyn Monroe, Humphrey Bogart, um, and probably Loren Bacall to go along with Bogey. Uh, and maybe Cary Grant. I'd like to be there for that evening also. <laughs> well said. Thank you very much. My I pleasure. appreciate that. So can we ask you one question, which is possibly one of the most important questions. For a man of today, 2012, 60 years on, who wishes to aspire to be a playboy, mm -hmm. do you have any words of advice on how he should live his life? I think... Uh, it has to do with dreams. It has to do with, uh, you know, pursuing those dreams. And I think that, that, that it should start very early in life. And it doesn't have much to do with wealth. It really has to do with just holding on to uh, the, the, the path that... Uh, there are so many things in society and peers and family, etc., that uh, try to dictate uh, a life and a, and a path to, to be uh, a tread. But I think that uh, one should follow one's own personal dreams uh, because we only have one, one time around. Indeed. And um, uh, one of the things that I have expressed uh, early on is um, uh, live, live your own dreams. Don't, don't, don't try to live somebody else's. Fantastic.